One of the first times a plague doctor was mentioned was in 1619, when the royal physician of King Louis the IX, Charles de Lume, decided to write about it. Eventually, in 1656, an engraver, I'm not going to read that name, decided to publish one of the most famous pictures of a plague doctor. And soon, this became one of the biggest symbols of the pubonic plague during the medieval times. The plague doctor outfit consists of a massive overcoat with a massive beak to go with it, usually carrying lavender. More recently, these plague doctors have been around Scotland and they've been watching school children during the day. Let me tell you more about the Falkirk Plague Doctors. Ah, Falkirk, a city with history, culture, and most of all, violence. Now, I don't really have an opinion on Falkirk, but let me just show you a video of two lovely men telling you all about Falkirk. Shite hole! <laughs> Are you sure that was the right clip? Are you definitely sure? Is that... Because I, I don't want that... Oh, <laughs> hi. Um... Yeah, Falkirk is a crime-riddled area from top to bottom. Sure, it's historically significant, but you can't deny the facts. Crime is horrible up there. That's why you should never go there unless you want to see the Kelpie. Anyway, now, I want to get into something real quick. And it's between the internet side of the story of the Plague Doctors in Falkirk. And the news stories for the Plague Doctors in Falkirk. So basically, the story gets a little bit complicated, but there's an internet version which is on TikTok, <coughs> and there's the other version which is from The Sun, and I'm kind of conflicted on which one to believe. Do I believe it from the general public, or do I believe it from a news article from various sources? I'll like I'll I'll tell you guys the tales from both. So this is gonna be the internet part where I explain the internet version of the story. So according to various users on TikTok that are from the Falkirk Council area, basically what's happening is that there's been a bunch of people in these plague doctor masks roaming about the streets, kidnapping children, kidnapping women, kidnapping basically everyone and killing them, sexually assaulting them, basically doing all the nasty stuff to them which is horrible and should not happen at all and I don't want that to happen to anyone anywhere at all but what's strange to me is that the internet is telling me one thing but there's a news article about it in fact various news articles that tell us a very different story from what I gathered through the Sun and through all of the different Scottish newspapers here's what I have found a 17 year old prankster decided to dress up in a plague doctor outfit to roam around children's school areas like primary schools, high schools, etc. And that was it. That was the whole thing. His whole idea was just roaming around children, which I don't want that to happen. That's very creepy, but it's not that bad of a thing compared to child grooming, sexually assaulting women, killing people, all of these nasty things. Um, 
and he's been questioned and he has been supposedly done nothing wrong he's only been looming around and that's it and the public are terrified and that's all I'm, I'm not really too sure which one to believe would you rather believe in the child killing stuff or the stuff that may be true I don't know I have no idea but it's just weird either way it's just a loseless situation man I don't like Scotland sometimes it's this <laughs>